listeners of Lavenda FM, it's your first lady, Lady M, continuing with my life journey of the test that became the testimony. As difficult as it was to live with my stepmom, the abuse continued and I became comfortable in my new normal. And as time goes on, her abuse became not only physical but emotional and psychological as well. At times she would tell me that I am useless and that I will not amount to anything in life. So because she kept on repeated, repeatedly saying that to me, I started believing it. And I started excluding myself in school, putting myself in a corner, not participating in certain things because I felt I was not worthy to be part of anything in life. It's only now that I that I noticed that she was just trying to make me feel excluded in my own father's house, making me feel useless, making me feel like I'm nothing in life. So at this time, it was in 2004, and it was as if her hatred towards me had grown extensively. She would, every night, wait for the other children to go to bed, and then she would call me to the sitting area and ask me to lay down flat on my back. She would then stand on top of my chest, stamping on top of me until I fainted. She would then pour water on me to wake me up and then the process would continue until she felt that she was satisfied and only then would she allow me to go to sleep. At times like that, I knew that when I, when I was being called at about 10, 11 p.m., it's not for anything but to be stamped on. And at that time I was very skinny and, you know, I was a child, didn't know what I did wrong. And sometimes I feel like it was just for your own satisfaction because you cannot be wrong every day of your life, you know. It doesn't matter what kind of person you are. You cannot be doing wrong things every day of your life. But that was my life then and... Like I'm saying, it became my normal. It became my, my way of living. I, I became submissive to her in such a way that I would not even question what she was doing. She would at times even chase me out of my father's house and would say that I am only allowed to take with me clothes that were bought before she came into the family. I think that she did that because she knew I had nothing but just one outfit which was made for me by my late stepmom, the one who passed away. It was becoming more difficult to, you know, to live with my stepmom. She became, I don't know if I should say my enemy, but she became the person that I disliked with my whole heart. and. It was just that I didn't know what to do, didn't know where to go because she had already, you know, called my aunts, my uncles and told them that I'm a bad child. I steal money from her. I sell her, um, her jewelry and stuff. So it was, you know, even if I called them, they told me that I was being punished because I did this and this. And which was thing that to me, when they told me that it was like, it was like news to me because I knew that the person who was busy taking her money it was her firstborn son but she didn't care she didn't want to know the truth and I also thought that um, you know it's better me than the other siblings that are being you know treated the way they did so it became my responsibility to protect them and you know to make sure that nothing happens to them as well it then became, you know, um, obvious to me that this was going to be my way of living and I became okay with it. And so today I'm choosing to stop right here. I'll continue again on the next episode. I hope that you enjoyed this one and you're taking something each and every day. Mm -hmm.